Resource is very finite because under the impact of anthropogenic activity, climate change, uh, impacting on the groundwater quality and quality, such as seawater intrusion and contamination by uh, wind and wind water. That's why, in certain topics regarding on groundwater uh, study, uh, like uh, for groundwater flow system, the interaction between the surface water and uh, groundwater the groundwater contamination, especially by activities in uh, many parts of the world, especially in uh, Bangladesh, Mongol, um, in Mekong Delta, and, and in uh, Mongolia. And uh, Mekong Delta is uh, one of the most important delta in my country, but now has facing many serious issues because of uh, unsustainable developments, uh, especially the building up the hydro power plant in upkeep of Mekong River basins. Um, uh, that's why Mekong Delta is very high vulnerability because uh, optimal activity affects on the chain of hydrological region and uh, Delta and cultural region activity because of rapid eco social economic development resulting in the losing wetland, affluent area, increasing the pollutants, over exploitation of groundwater and seawater intrusion. The factor affecting on the reduce of chain annual follow into the Mekong Delta and reduce the uh, data into the aquifer system and mass water intrusion. But uh, unfortunately, the lack of uh, research focusing on groundwater flow system and groundwater characteristics in this region. That's why my research focusing on groundwater characteristics and to evaluate the main factor that control water evolution in this uh, location and the mixing processes between the groundwater and surface water. Few survey and lab analysis uh, were applied in this uh, research to understanding on groundwater flow system, hydro geological processes that control groundwater evolution in this uh, location. And uh, this study area, Sokhtan Province, located in south of Mekong Delta, uh, in Vietnam, and it's in this location, more than 85% of people use groundwater for drinking and for irrigation. The land cover is domi dominant by the agriculture, and uh, surface water is strongly affected by the tidal and floating fluid and seawater intrusion. This is some uh, activity, activity in the field. And the sound and the concern I'd like to uh, into three um, uh, main finding. One is the uh, groundwater dynamic. And we can see that uh, in 2001, the depression area of groundwater located in south, south part of the study area. And uh, groundwater potential seems to be high. And uh, groundwater follow direction intend to move from surrounding area to the uh, depression area. But in 2013, we can see that the depression area expands along the coastal area and the central part of the study area, especially in the southern city, because huge amounts of groundwater were extracted for uh, domestic and for irrigation water demands. And interestingly, uh, groundwater follow system uh, radiation had not changed so much. It seemed to be moved from surrounding area to the central part of the southern province. Uh, this is what we should uh, note when we consider in water management. And in the viewpoint of water resource management, it is important to understand in groundwater evolution. And uh, these figures show the spatial distribution of solute and isotopic composition. Uh, we can see that almost groundwater from the third aquifer show similar the chemical composition, uh, accepting some groundwater in estuary area uh, with high salinity compared to another. But surface water, especially in the long, long coastal area, so high salinity and isotopic composition, indicating that surface water in this location affects strongly by seawater intrusion. But deeper aquifers show different story because uh, higher uh, solar concentration but lower isotope composition indicating the hydrogeological processes affects different with, uh, in comparison with the third aquifer. And shallow groundwater show the very high salinity and isotopic composition indicating this uh, uh, location may affect by the seawater intrusion. And uh, another uh, issue which we consider is uh, the 
graph of the quality in this location can classify by using pi diagram. We can see that almost groundwater in this location uh, was characterized by the medium bicarbonate. And deeper aquifer, uh, we can see that we can group into the sodium and bicarbonate. And shallow groundwater located in this zone, indicating the uh, sodium chloride concentration very high and affecting by seawater intrusion in this location. And the, quest, the question here is, uh, which the main factor that affect on the groundwater quality in this location? And to make this clear, I calculate the saturation index uh, to understand the matter of solution effect on this location. And we can see that uh, on more groundwater in this location uh, experience into the uh, dolomite solution and some deeper aquifer uh, uh, affected by strongly by cassai and anhydride <coughs> solution, uh, indicating the super saturate of cassai and uh, anhydride uh, rock dissolution in this location. And another thing we should consider that it, unlike other regions in over the world, the coastal area seem to be strongly affected by seawater intrusion. That's why I should consider the seawater intrusion effect on this location by using two uh, indicators. Headline indicate the seawater intrusion, uh, stabilized stop indicate the evaporation effect, seawater intrusion, and other process. And we can see there are three main trends. One is the missing with the seawater, uh, especially the shallow groundwater in, in this uh, distribute around the missing line. Another almost groundwater in the location affects by evaporation process and deeper aquifer seem to be experienced to base uh, paleo saline dissolution uh, rather, rather than other process. And uh, another process we can find in this location uh, combine uh, evaporation of IC water into and also base uh, paleo saline dissolution in location. And in this location, we should consider the mixing processes. And it is very important to know where and which location experience such kind of process. And we, should, we use the isotope signature to consider the mixing process. And we can see that in group 3, uh, there are some sample shallow groundwater may experience into mixing with the seawater. And all more groundwater in this location again confirm the effect strongly by evaporation. And I should consider by using the deep information, and we can see that this is the procession uh, from the inland to the, the coast and uh, from the south to the east, uh, the, the, the north. And first, we can consider the group one, and we can, we can see that the sample is relatively high stability, but a stable isotope and uh, groundwater follow digestion should be horizontal way rather than vertical. It means that surface water cannot infiltrate in this uh, aquifer, and there is no evidence to illustrate that the interaction between our uh, relationship between the surface water in this location and the groundwater in the in, in this aquifer. But a, a neural term we should consider a long coastal area, groundwater uh, follow direction into reach to the sea. It means maybe affected by the tidal jejum uh, in this location. And group three, two, and group three, we can see that on the groundwater in this location, very high chloride concentration and uh, stable isotopes seem to be high compared to another. But geological con uh, condition confirm that impermeable layer here very thick, around 25 meters, and can prevent the surface water leaching into the aquifer. It means that there's no relation between surface water in its location with uh, this layer. And groundwater may, uh, the saline source may be come from the north south, north, north, north pass to the aquifer. But uh, beyond the follow direction, we can see that we should note that uh, saline source here may move from saline path to the fresh aquifer. It's a very important point because when uh, uh, over exploitation occurs, groundwater may uh, be uh, more uh, seawater and cannot use anymore. And another 
uh, finding, I'd like to confirm that even at the same uh, layer, but uh, saline diffusion because of uh, rapid uh, depletion of groundwater uh, level in this location has been occurred, and mixing processes between aquifer uh, also occur along coastal area. Based on this design, I'd like to give some conclusion, including the, we, we, we see that the groundwater characteristics uh, between aquifer very different and affect by uh, different hydrogeological processes, including the dolomite dissolution, seawater intrusion in the shallow groundwater, and saline diffusion in some part of the plato chain aquifer, and deeper aquifer experience into the uh, paleo saline dissolution. And expand groundwater depression area have been occurring in short-term proving, resulting into saline dissolution and, and other process uh, in this aquifer. And missing process may be occur between two aquifers, lower Pleistocene and middle Pleistocene in uh, a long quarter area. And I would be happy to discuss with you some misunderstanding on my research. Thank you for your kind attention and comments. Thank you very much. Uh, could you uh, have the questions or the comments? Please. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I would like to uh, ask you about when you choose a sample, mm -hmm. do you choose based on the uh, activities, relating activities like agriculture or something? Because whether any uh, factors mm -hmm. of the human activities can affect to the chemical component, I know that it is in the uh, very depth, but whether any factors and whether you check the uh, impacts from other activities? Yeah, thank, thank you. Uh, very, very nice question. Uh, I think uh, based on the uh, viewpoint of uh, groundwater uh, study, uh, we should consider every uh, the factor that uh, affects on the, the chemical of the water. Uh, in this case, uh, I take uh, groundwater during uh, my fuel survey in uh, uh, agriculture activity include, but uh, uh, maybe surface water strongly affect on the uh, work affect by the agriculture activity like ke agriculture chemical fertil fertilizer and uh, human waste and other things. And I uh, I think uh, I oops, I already analyzed some. Uh, Indicator like uh, nitrates that uh, indicate the, the agriculture, fertilizer, and human activity affects on the uh, groundwater, uh, surface water. But groundwater in this location uh, have not uh, uh, affects by some kind of uh, uh, agriculture activity, but uh, seawater intrusion strongly affects on this location. And maybe in the future, uh, we should uh, consider the shallow groundwater. Shallow, it means I uh, can interact directly with the surface water. When the surface water is through by the, the chemical, uh, pollutant may affect on the shallow groundwater in this location. Uh, at the end of your handout, you mentioned that your, your work can be uh, useful for effective management and sustainable use of water resources. And can you uh, describe more about how your work is, can be applied to these things? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Cynthia, for your question. I think uh, in the viewpoint of uh, groundwater management, we should consider or we, we, we should know the groundwater status. It means the quantity and quality. And weak location occur, the seawater intrusion, a weak location may uh, be was polluted by another chemical. And my result uh, identified the location where the uh, seawater intrusion uh, occur because of the uh, depression of groundwater in this location, maybe uh, intensive bombing activity. So this result can apply for local authority and to awareness that the groundwater in this location very finite and very easy to ensure or uh, uh, threaten by the uh, uh, seawater intrusion and, and over uh, pumping activity. So we, uh, they should balance water due between the surface water and groundwater. It has not uh, uh, due more groundwater, especially in the right season, and then they can do another 
uh, water resources like surface water because in this location, surface water sometimes affected by seawater intrusion, but sometimes it's not affected by seawater intrusion. So we can see uh, surface water in addition to groundwater in this location for overcome the, 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 the water use in this location. This is, I think, uh, one of the, uh, the good indicators to apply in this uh, area. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much for that. So that I'll, I'll, we would like to do the next presenter. Okay. Next, Miss Guiti Tuit Hello everyone, today I would like to present my method technique, the title is